Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an uh, online version of the NI Multisim uh, to do circuit simulation for uh, a circuit analysis or electronics course. So here I have already logged in, so you need to go to multisim.com. Uh, you'll be asked to create a user account for National Instruments, or if you already have one, you can log in using that. Here I'm already logged in, so I'm going to hit Create Circuit. So uh, it takes a few minutes. Uh, a few seconds to come up. I'm going to full screen this. Now, here is the general interface uh, for the multi-SIM circuit. Here's my schematic. Here is the output waveforms that you, I'm going to see later on. And then here, of course, I can see both side by side. That's what those mean. Um, I also have options of different kinds of simulations I can run, a transient, AC, DC operating point, DC sweep, and a parameter-based simulation all the circuit components I'm going to need are on this left-hand panel. So for this example, let's build a inverting amplifier, summing uh, inverting amplifier. So I'm going to call this inverting uh, amplifier circuit. Right. So that's my uh, circuit. Uh, and so in order to do the inverting amplifier, I'm going to bring an op amp. So click on this analog component right here. Uh, you have different options for op amps. I'm going to use the three terminal op amp. So if you've used if you've used a multi sim or other schematic capture package, this would be fairly intuitive. So here I have a op amp with the inverting side on the bottom, non-inverting side on the top. I like my inverting side on the top just because I'm used to providing feedback on the top and top side. So I'm basically just going to rotate it and mirror it. So if I do this and mirror so i have my inverting side on the top uh, non-inverting side on the bottom here's my output uh, this assumes that the power supply has already been set up okay so let's grab a couple of resistors so i'm going to grab a one a resistor by default they're one kilo ohm wiring is very simple you put the component or you go and abut the component next to another component and now it's wired and i can pull this around so my one kilo ohm resistor is all wired so the inverting end is wired. Let's put a feedback resistor. Uh, again, resistor, I'm going to bring it up here. Place it there. Create a wire spool. Click. Done. Oh, I need to double click to end the wire. Uh, oh. Escape to get out of the wiring spool. And then again, same thing here. I created a junction, double click, and escape to get out of there. So I've created my uh, feedback loop. Let's change the feedback uh, resistor to uh, a different value. So in this case, I've, I'm just going to put down a random value of 3 kilo ohm. Okay, so I have a 3 kilo ohm resistor here in the feedback loop, 1 kilo ohm here in the, in the inverting end. So since this is I'm building an inverting amplifier, I'm going to get a total amplification of negative 3. Right, so let's add a voltage supply. We want AC voltage since we're playing with op amps, and that's it's it's much more fun to see AC voltage being uh, amplified in this particular case. You could do a DC voltage uh, as well. So here you go. So those are all wired. For the other side of the voltage source, I'm going to put a place a ground right here on the non-inverting side, and I'm going to bring a wire from the other side of the voltage source and place it here. Now, you can change the parameters of this voltage source. Uh, the AC voltage right now, it says is one volt, one kilohertz. You can click on this and go and change that to whatever you uh, prefer. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So I've actually completed the design of the inverting amplifier. So next thing we wanna do is we wanna see what the output voltage looks like. So let's go grab a voltage probe. Uh, under the analysis and annotation, you have options for measuring the voltage and the currents uh, and all other things. So let's put a voltage probe on the input side. And let's put another voltage probe on the output side. Okay. Now, there are a number of ways of doing the simulation. So for example, if I do... Uh, if I want to do an interactive simulation, meaning I can see the voltages right here, live. So simulator is about to load, so it's so here's an AC waveform coming in, and here's the output AC waveform. It's hard to see what's happening here. So let's see, let's stop this. And since 
we want to see a simulation of how the sign input sign voltage uh, changes over time uh, with the uh, uh, how the output voltage changes over time as the input changes let's do a transient simulation so transients let's set up the transient simulation let's make sure our parameters make sense well we have a one kilohertz waveform so that means one period is going to be one millisecond so let's ask at least capture a few a few periods of this input waveform so let's go under here transient right here these are the simulation parameters this is going to be very similar to what you're used to in uh, any other spice simulation software or in multi-sim uh, that you do on the desktop uh, here on the end i'm going to say five milliseconds so that we can capture at least five uh, of the complete periods of the input and output okay so i've set my transient simulation now that this is transient, all I hit is the run simulation button. And now its simulator is loading. And here is the simulator output. So if you look at this, now if I go back under schematic right here, the green probe is for the input, the blue is for the output. So let me go to split screen. Green probe is for the input. When the input is up, uh, you know, one, I see my output is negative three. So that's exactly what we were expecting. Uh, an inverted input, so we see that the with a, see that the output is inverted compared to the input, and that the voltage is exactly three times uh, as much. So here is is here is was a very simple demo of how to use MultiSim Live to do circuit simulations uh, for uh, a circuits course or a basic electronics course.